seeing you. I do like fruit punch pops. Let me let me ask you, what's what's better? What what makes more sense to you, fruit punch or punch fruit? Um, fruit punch. Oh, okay. Just wondering, because you say punch fruit a lot. Because <laughs> it's punchy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> hey, Meridian, you want to see something funny? Mm. Look at this. That's you. Do you see you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's Daddy. And who's that? It's me. That's right. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're and we're all on we're all on the phone right now. And it's my favorite color. Is that your favorite color? I I would thought your favorite color was pink. Yeah, it is. Look, it's pink. I suppose that is a kind of pink. A very ready reddish uh, pink. kind of pink. <laughs> hey! British Bacon Joe is reddish reddish. Well, she told you. <laughs> Done. I was trying to figure out where the sirens were going outside my window. Oh, well, did you check to make sure it wasn't inside the building first? <laughs> I would have been inside. I, I you know, you just want to check off all the boxes, make sure that... Uh, it would have been much louder if it were inside. Either that or much smaller. <laughs> Your dad is silly. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh boy, there is there is litter all over my okay, desk. Okay, so I don't know if you can still hear me. My internet is not doing great today. Really, it seems fine from this from this vantage point. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing a funny face. You're doing a funny face. <laughs> that is the silliest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And so you oh, are now silly, and I am back. not. You are so silly. No, I think I'm not silly anymore. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> did not like that nope, for a couple <laughs> oh, of reasons. No, oh, okay, my. so whatever happened, I totally missed it because no, I was No, you're the line. funny guy. <laughs> no, I'm the funny guy. Uh, you, you asking if it's not all rubbed in? If that's why you're asking? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if mm -hmm. this is any sort of premonition of what's to come, yeah. um, I dropped out of pretty much every Zoom meeting today. Okay. Uh, I came back just a couple minutes later in each one, but um, right. I also just dropped out there, so. Yay! All right. Be ready. Okay. Yeah, very much. Um, okay, so let's, um, hmm, what are we doing? A live stream. Oh, mm, okay. <laughs> that that sounds fun. Um, Is that not obvious? I, I don't know. It took me a while to appreciate dill, but I really like it. Um, okay. But you don't like pickles? Oh, gosh, no. Like. But that's the best way to have the dill is with the pickles. No. No. Like. The best way to have dill is on something like a very small sandwich, you know, like uh, like. Oh, you mean like the cucumber, like the little finger sandwiches? Yes. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Those are delightful. I already eat a mountain of those. Mm. <sighs> that is good. Most days it's um, fine. What's also and, funny is yes. you started live streaming while I was not online so i didn't realize we were live streaming until like two minutes into our conversation so oh. hello everyone <laughs> my internet has been horrible today yeah mm, dill is great on salads yes it is yes it is yes it is mm. it's a, mm. a delightful flavor it's like a slightly tinny flavor you know it's got a little bit of bite to it mm. Is this, you're describing dill right now? Yeah, absolutely I am. A tinny flavor? Yeah, like, like tin, you know? Yeah, no, I got that. Yeah. I got that. Okay. 
I'm just wondering about your taste buds, but that's cool. Mm. Mine have been perfected. Okay. So let's jump. Did we actually have a place where we, I think we did have a place where we had written up this poll. Well, you had a place where you put options in the document, um, and that was on page nine. Uh, my cursor should be there. Ah, yes. And, and then you gave different options in yes, the polls. Yes, so. I did. So these um, these options here. Um, well, that's not what I intended to do. Phil. Those options were not considered. Instead, we had A and B, and then a third option. Um, here, we'll... Uh, that is one heck of a fill color, by the way. Like, I feel like that's hitting me in my eyeballs. <laughs> yes. So we're going to call this D, E, F. Um, this is what we had for option C. Okay. Option C. Before I... Yes. Oh, no, go on. Uh, option C, an option I regret, um, makes it so, such that if there's ever a point in time where uh, a T, D, S, Z, or any other um, relevant phoneme, like a K or a G or whatever, would be palatal in that situation and unambiguously palatal, then we delete the Y. That's really all option C was. So, now then, with that in mind, let us discuss the poll. You already know where this is going, right, David? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Well, it actually goes in order because in last place is option A, the slightly modified system. Yeah. With only six votes. Right. Um, in second place is option B <laughs> with nine votes. And um, the aggressive coronal shift C is the winner. How many votes? I need to know. 13. You could have flipped this. I could have. I could have. I could have bugged Barry to vote, and Veronica. Gotta gotta bring in special voters. Yeah, I could have. We could have swung the. We could have swung this thing with super delegates, but <laughs> there it is. So, let us explore how this is going to change things by revisiting the words that we have already created in various spots. So. Starting here with the, let's see. But this isn't, it, this isn't for N, right? It's not, it's only for the stops. It's only for the stops. So that stays. And fricatives, right? The st yeah, the stops and the fricatives. So, already, the word for possum is changing. I, I, I like feel something slightly painful to know there are all these drawings out there with bad spellings. Yeah. It's, it kind of hurts a little. I'm not going to lie. Well, for me, just the, this part hurts a little. Good Lord. Now, I guess you just have to guess how the S and Z are pronounced. Ugh. Hate it. Ah, oh, boy. But I hey, hope... David? Yeah. Why, why did you put the option in there? I <laughs> thought it was a reasonable option. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this uh. is yet another episode of the things David does to himself by putting options into polls that he doesn't want 
to be options at all, and then they win. I just hope the patrons are happy with this word that looks like uz, like uzipsi, that's pronounced uzipsi. I hope. Oh! That you're but happy. the I indicates it's going to be a, a palatal. Sure. We know that. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? We know that, but. <sighs> it's Khaleesi yeah, okay, all over but again. David, what native. What non native Tapafa speaker? and non like really big fan of watching all of the language develop is going to say any of the vowels correctly in this language that is a fair point almost nobody is going to pronounce all this correctly um so (laughs) yeah okay these are all correct Uh, let's start with the Iskas over here. Those are all correct. This is all obviously going to have to change. Roman is threatening. He's in his perch. His high perch. And he's threatening. Hm. Is he going to like jump on your head in the middle of this? Oh, no. No. He's, he's threatening, you know, you know, to cause one kind of mischief and another... The perch is right next to um, a collection of, you know, convention lanyards I have, and he covets them. A beast. Okay. So this is actually peculiar, um, because the Y here is coming from a palatalized R. And so we're losing a distinction here, a theoretical distinction between this and this. Theoretically, those can be distinct. Jos and Jios, but I suppose that is splitting hairs a bit, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. This certainly is going to simplify this paradigm quite a bit. Look at that. Mm. I was kind of starting to remember how to pronounce some of these things. <laughs> Not that I ever got pronunciation correct anyway. Oh, Mateus forgot to vote. My goodness, what are you, American? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> wow. Uh, we deserve it. But hey, we all showed up last time. Highest percentage of voters in an election ever uh, in our nation's history. That's isn't not that, bad. Isn't that just kind of sad, though, that it took? Yep. What happened? Yeah. Uh, moving on. Let's let's focus on on mm-hmm. language here. Yep. Okay, um, those are all correct, and we have yet to actually do those tables correctly. And again, we're keeping the N, I think. Mm-hmm. We may need to revisit that um, to see if that's going to cause any problems. Uh, let me see, are these, you know, these are old things. Um, yes, those are all old it's things. It's really going to be down in the dictionary now that we need to... Yes, well, also the numbers. Oh. Uh Uh-oh. What? Look at the number three. Okay. Let me look at the proto form. Oh, wait, it's ed. Does that mean it raised after I believe so Boy. after the um, palatalization yeah and that you know what that means actually first that means <laughs> EG and ED is not going to be yeah, let me make sure. distinguished 13.2 yep Oh boy. Well, 
Well, well. What have we just learned? This is pronounced ED. It doesn't palatalize. Uh -huh. It raises after the palatalization happens, which means that there could actually be a distinction between ED and EG. Right. Which means that I probably should never have suggested option C. Right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, take a break, take a moment, stare at the mess. <laughs> and Graham is reminding us that's why we had all those whys in the first place. Why not just do option C for the fricatives? Um, and not the stops. Yeah, I'm thinking it would happen with the fricatives, too. Because if we yeah. had, like, is it yeah. as a protoform, then it's going to be easy with no palatalization, right? That's yeah. going to happen with any... That's exactly right. That is exactly right. So you could actually have EC and EZ, as well as ishi and EZ. I believe, I believe, you can also have the retroflexes. Sure enough, ishi. So Evan is saying, why not go with option B, which had the second most votes, which does not produce this confusion? Yeah, I think we got to think we got to Boy oh boy. My oh my. What is that song? Ballad of Johnny Rotten. You know that one? No, not at all. Hey, hey my my. That one? I think it was uh No. I think it was that dude whose voice I hate. Um Neil Young. Um, you hate Neil Young? His voice, yes. Um, I don't like... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of his solo work at all. Um, but the instrumental work he's done and the stuff he's done in collaboration is so stellar that, you know, it's just what do you do with that? You know, uh, the uh, I don't know if you've seen this. The Jim Jarmusch movie, uh, Dead Man, starring Johnny Depp. Have you seen that? Black and white? No. Okay. No. Neil Young did the soundtrack to that movie. It's all instrumental. It is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. And that is one of my favorite movies, by the way. That was Johnny Depp. I want to say it was, it was after Edward Scissorhands. Um, way, way, way before, like, Pirates. But it was like late 90s I want to say that's, okay. that's a good one I don't know I think Benny and June was the highlight of his late 90s uh, <laughs> um, and it is either called Hey Hey My My that's it out of the blue or Hey Hey My My the Johnny Rotten bootleg <laughs> oh. actually I think bootleg is because it's a bootleg version but Johnny Rotten is in yeah. Parentheses. Okay, but yeah, I don't know that song. It's um, not great. Like like most of his work, it's not great. Like like most of his solo stuff, it's just not great. Like like seriously, it, there's that song. There's what well, like Southern Man, which I I don't think is a great song. There is Keep On Rocking in the Freeo World, which I think is anemic. I I just don't get it. I don't get it. So, yeah. are you going to just, like, undo all the changes you've just done so you don't forget them? Or are we going to forge ahead and have a system where we don't distinguish between some? No, I'm going to go and undo everything. Are you going to do it by hand? You're not just going to do, like, Command Z? Well, the thing is, it is different from what was there before. And so I do want to revisit... Do you think and that's you'll remember smart? all of them? 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. But will you? All if right, you will, that's girl. fine. Yeah. I just know that I would miss certain forms if I were to do that myself. Thing is, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's keep laughing. Oh, I will. <laughs> okay. Minnie wants to know how you feel about Neil Young's album Trans, where he used a vocoder. Yeah, you know vocoder. Um, no. And are we sure we're talking about Neil Young? I mean, well, actually, I mean, if you know the name of the album, we probably are. But no, that was, um, you know, that was that was the other guy's big thing. You know, uh, the guy who starred in uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, the movie. Uh, my mother hates him for some reason. Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton. You know Peter Frampton? I mean, I know the the name. I couldn't tell you a single song off the top of my head. Okay, do you know either Show Me the Way or do you feel like like we do? Like I do? <laughs> you may have to sing them for me. <laughs> okay, the, the, his big thing was using the vocoder. So it's like the, the big thing with like Show Me the Way, you know, it starts with a nice guitar and then he starts doing that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, and do you feel like we do? He actually, you know, sings through it, and so on. Yeah. Gotcha. That's the vocoder. So no, I'm not familiar with that album. Um, I would be willing to give it a listen. It, truthfully, truthfully, I should go and listen to his entire discography. There's no reason why I shouldn't at this point. Um. So, yeah, I'll get there. And since I have a specific recommendation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Alistair. Is there a difference between a vocoder and a talk box? I gotta, I gotta know more about this. I also want to make it clear that Minnie may not be recommending it. She's just asking how you feel about it. So we'll have to wait until we get a follow-up. True enough. All right, but I'm, we're getting rid of the double Ys. That's for darn sure, okay? No more double Ys. Oh, yeah. Option B had the TY. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Many says Trans is a Neil Young album where he experimented with vocoder and other electronics to try to connect with his son, who is on the autism spectrum. That's Interesting. cool. Is this, a, this must be a recent album. And Alistair says a vocoder is electronic and usually attached to a keyboard. Many is definitely recommending it. And Alistair says the talk box is essentially a speaker piped into your mouth. Hmm. And Vinin says it's the same idea, but they work the way they work is different. Got it. Interesting. Well, I'm glad to know that. Uh, Porta said I was very cool too until I heard the whole album. You know, they had that song that came out in the '90s. Do you remember? Um, the Sour Times. I love that. A year into this, you're still asking. If I remember names of bands and names of songs, when you know that I'm really horrible with names, but I love that we're still doing this. But like, no, that came out <laughs> during you know, during high school. It was it was you know it had some fanfare, sour songs. I'm sorry, sour times. It had a uh, it had a it had a music video. Um, <laughs> right? Didn't all didn't all songs in the '90s to be good have to have a music video? Because MTV was still the thing. Pretty much, yes. Um, but yeah, I heard that song and like I just, it just did not vibe with me. Um, mm. And so I was just like, eh. I will have to like look it up and listen to it because again, you know. Uh, when I when I revisited the album, I got what Porter's Head was doing. That song actually sounds very different from their usual stuff. Um, but I also appreciate that song now as it was like kind of like they were trying to give it a James Bond type of feel, you know. And, okay. and I, I appreciate how they went for that. Um, gotcha. Yeah. And and I'm going to do a, a, the correction for many here. Neil Young's son had cerebral palsy and was nonverbal, was not uh, on the autism spectrum. Yeah. And I uh, wanted to add that correction. Maybe it didn't have fanfare. And Evan, you're right. Maybe maybe in Missouri we just didn't have the same kind of fanfare as 
music got in Southern <laughs> California. Um, I wanted to point out one change because uh, we were trying to eliminate Ys where we could. And so one thing that we were eliminating was uh, the Ys in front of non, uh, non-palatal consonants. So Biza is still pronounced Biza, but it's spelled without the Y now. Um, so that's one change that we've made so far. One Y that we have saved. And Vinin, I don't know if we have any Wisconsinites in there, but yeah. I do love Wisconsin. Wisconsin is, you know, a hotbed of Conlang activity. That's where uh, William Annis is, that's where George Corley is, and that's where um, David Sallow is. All friends. You know, I should be following along and asking what you're changing so I can do it on the English side, but instead I'm just really oh. reading what's in chat. And... No, that's more fun. Um, Biza is the word for heart, and it lost its Y. Got it. Done. Is that really the only thing that you've changed so far from A through? Yes, that is the only thing I've changed thus far. Wow. Yeah. So it's it really is a slight change. Um, Minnie, I thought you were in Minnesota, not in Wisconsin. That's where she's from, I believe. Oh, right, right, right. That would be, gotcha. Okay. Mm. Oh, do you know, do you and William Annis know each other, Minnie? That's pretty cool. I don't remember if we've met in person. Um, and Kobe is asking, would we no longer be able to um, differentiate between B-I and B-Y-I because the protoforms B-E or B epsilon, I should say, and B-I. Uh -oh. It's like, would there be a difference between Biza and Biza? Yes, that is accurate. That is accurate. It doesn't bother me as much, but that is accurate. So like you, we just, put in B to that the exact same little test word we have here, and indeed it, indeed it is EB and not EB. So there is a distinction. And is it the case that it doesn't bother you as much because it's not actually changing the full value of the consonant? It is. It is. And I want to try to simplify things a little bit if, if we can. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. How do, how do you feel? I've been confused for weeks about how to say anything in this language. Really, all we're doing now is... Making it more confusing, but shortening yeah. certain words. Right, right. So, I mean... I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just throw my hands up in the air. <laughs> all right, well... Hmm. Let's see, let uh... And stuff, yeah. I forgot we didn't actually put any of the verbs in yet. I was wondering why we didn't have so many. And that doesn't change either. Looks like that is it. So Biza is the only thing that changes, and we're not even sure if it should change. <laughs> How do you feel? I get the point. It seems arbitrary mm -hmm. to leave it with the palatals and not with the non-palatals. Ugh. <sighs> All right, viewers. It's up to you. There we go. 
So the distinction, are we keeping the distinction A, or are we dropping the distinction from non-palatals B? What do you think? Alright, we've got one for A, mm. two for A. Unlike the rest of America, Minnie. Alright, we're 11 to 2, A is winning. Yeah. Watch, watch Bibleridian show up and throw out a D. Mm -hmm. Everything is thrown into chaos. Bib would never throw things into chaos. <laughs> All right. We're 14 to 4. Ace winning. We only have 10 more votes out there. So the like the worst that could happen is a tie, yeah. that B catches up. So I think A is our winner. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Bib oh yes. no. Yes. That All is right. great. Thank you for proving me wrong, Ben. That's okay. <laughs> I, but I understand the logic of of what he's suggesting. We're putting, <laughs> we put a W, see, because W is labial, right? And then you, so you just know it's the glide that comes after a labial, but it's still pronounced visa, right? right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're also getting some great suggestions. Oh, and hey, Beatrice. Um, it's Bib Chaos Loridian or Wib Loridian. <laughs> um, oh, and, and Timo, the example example is because um, the way the formatting works in this particular template. Um, it works best to have two entries at minimum, but until we actually have two B words, we're gonna yeah. have that example placeholder. Um, and the finished entries up front, the first one is for orthography and the second one is for how you would type it on the keyboard. But do we need that anymore since you already have that in that particular entry? Uh, well, this is for the this is for the real orthography. And so oh, we're just and keep... we have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll see if um, if it becomes necessary to um, figure out how things are typed for that one or if this will do for both. I figure it probably will. Um, no, no, not KY to SY, KY to TY. So yes, essentially KY to TY, um, GY to DY, um, and then... Oh, do you want me to go back up to the chart? No, I think that's it. <laughs> Oh, we ball with you, That's nice. We ball with you, Notice me. Okay. Okay, so I need to go back down to heart and change that back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so is the spelling for possum now correct again? Yes, it is. <laughs> Benin, please don't eat yourself. Not over the you woo wising of Bib's name. <laughs> you woo wising? Is that is that even how you would say it? Mm. Ooh wise. Ooh wise. <laughs> Mowage. Um, <laughs> by the way, I realize that guy in the Princess Bride who you know who is the uh, mm -hmm. you know the. He's the guy that was in the original, um, you know, um, Bedazzled. He played the devil in the original Bedazzled. When you say that word to me, it's an English word that's beautiful. And I think of bedazzled jean jackets, but bedazzled means nothing to me. Um, the, uh, Br the Brendan Fraser yeah. movie when Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley. Sorry. I've, I've got the name right, right? It is bedazzled, yeah? I don't know. But yeah. No. Yeah. What did you say that was so horrible? This is the worst thing I've ever heard David say 
<laughs> and then Emily, you came in late. First thing you heard, consider leaving. Come on now, what's what happened? <laughs> Did I miss something, or am I just so like well, immune to the things you say that I don't? Well, there, you know how we have the word uulate. You know, uulate, right? Oh, uh -huh. well, now we can have. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so he plays, um, he plays the devil in the original Bedazzled, and it is so good. It is so good. Uh, I'll just tell you how it opens when this guy meets the devil who, you know, offers to make a deal with him. He's just in a, a record, um, factory, right? And he's just having this conversation with him. <laughs> and he's just pulling out these brand new records, just like as he's having the conversation, putting like a little scratch on him, putting him back. Putting that back in <laughs> the entire time. Oh, oh my it's, gosh. it's so good. It's so good. And thank you. I nope. did get the title right. Yeah. Bedazzled. Um, 1967. Okay. Um, all right. Let's 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 finish up this. Um, let's see if we can finish up filling in these verb charts. What did we change right. that we now... What did we change that we now can like, do this? <laughs> well, we need the negative forms, which we already had. We just needed to enter them, right? Yeah. We just needed to make sure, like, run them through the yeah um, sound change. Okay, so what's the what's the proto form of to exit? I'm guessing it's um. I'll pull it up, but in the meantime, if you head up to the nominal inflection chart, you're going to notice that you start the lines with capital nouns, but under the verbal inflections, the verbs are all lowercased on their lines. And, you know, just in the, in the <sighs> sake of keeping things the same. Yeah, me. <laughs> it's a nice, nice, neat document we had here once. <laughs> one point um okay so for to exit did you want to guess before i give you the proto form um <laughs> i'm gonna say f caret r oh no i have poor connection that's what's going on oh okay but can you not hear me can, can you not hear me at all like you just, you just sitting there smiling. Like, can you really not hear me? Yeah. Oh. Okay, she really can't. Now she's frozen. Okay. Thought she was. I thought she was. She was uh, making of me the April Fool. Um. That is, doing that. Um. Okay. Okay. Did you want to guess the proto form, or did you just want me to give it to you? I I guessed I guessed F caret R. Is that right? By F you mean phi. Yes. And then schwa, R. I guessed wrong. Okay. Okay. Oh, and ragdoll. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Um, so the mm, I don't remember any of that. Uh, well, let's just put that in there. Come on, be cool. You know, Cheap Trick did a cover of um, Elvis Presley's Don't Be Cruel. I kind of like it. Where did that come from? Um, I don't know. I sometimes think of it. Don't <laughs> be cruel. Too high, that's true. I thought I missed a conversation or something while I was, you know. <laughs> yeah. Out. Nope. All right. Oh, all right. So then, okay, so we got that. Now we need the negative forms. And also just, I don't even know what these are right here. These, these little, these little jicamas. So I'm just going to replace them and see what happens. And we got I'm our I'm sorry for, for creeping you out, Evan. <laughs> we got our four shoe. We got our eel sewer. Good. And so, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, that is, 
Delightful. Oh my. I do like that. Watch this. <clears throat> Negative non finite form of push is push. That's the that's the Welshest word I've ever heard in my life. Push. Wow. <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> oh. And then you looked up the other forms too, right? Uh, they're there. I'll go back to them. I just wanted to sit with whoosh for a while. Um, by the way, has anybody ever heard this this weird April Fool um, uh, old poem showing how different things used to rhyme in English? But the suggestion is that if you try to prank somebody after noon on April Fools, then you are the fool. Because April Fools only counts before noon. Why? I don't know. It's just an old poem. No, I've never heard of such a thing. Okay, we got a old April Fool's poem. You are a fool and I am none. That should... No. Come on, give me the poem. No. no. Toby is asking an interesting question. Forget. If you can actually differentiate between that voiceless W and the phi sound. Um, so let's see. One is push. The other one is push. Yeah, easily distinguished. Easily distinguished. Um, yeah. It's actually hard to do that, though, because it should be push. Fulsh, fulsh, yeah, fulsh, because of the unrounded vowel. So that's phi, fulsh, and then the other one is whoosh, with the rounding. So yes, yes, you can distinguish, easily distinguished. Um. <laughs> but, yeah, it's stupid. Does anyone still even wake up before noon? <laughs> ah, I feel you there. Okay. Um, uh, no, it's not the standard practice. I don't think anybody knows about it. Um, so yeah, Jessie's dropped out again. She's left the document. Oh, she's gone for good. Gone for good. So it's my show now. <laughs> it means I get to figure this rigmarole out. Look at that. You see that? You see what I'm gonna have to deal with? Oh my goodness! I don't even know what that is. I don't even know why there's a Y there. It's because the uh dropped out and the R vocalized to a ya. Uh, yeah, I mean it is a British, it is a British poem. Um, so that's for sure. I'm gonna give Jesse a minute, and then I'm gonna. Uh, well, here, actually, I'm going to stop paying attention to the chat um, for just a moment. It is. It is reversed, isn't it? I don't know which one is correct. But um, here, I'm going to I'm gonna text Jesse on my phone, which means that I can't actually look at the chat anymore. Just one second. Okay, she says things may have hardcore crashed. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. All right. Uh, give me one sec. Auto corrected that to second, so <laughs> give me one second. It sounds so aggressive. Okay, give me just one second. No, oh, I guess it doesn't sound too aggressive. Um, Taking off my notifications. Um, think. Okay. All right. I told you it's been a day. Mm -hmm. 
as all my students can attest to. And if Emily is still here, she knows. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so I'm on my computer still, and I'm just crossing my fingers that I can stay. Yeah, no, I get that. So <clears throat> we'll see. And then to premium my blunderbuss. Um, uh, how do you make it go to the thing? Okay, there, I think it's live now. Did you do live chat, live chat? Uh, yeah, 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 I did that. I did that. Okay. Okay, what I miss? Mm. Uh... Did you change the entire romanization system? Yeah, it's all J's now. As it should be. <laughs> um, you are back, right? Like, can people see you? Yeah. I mean, I see me in the yeah. live chat. Good, all right. I see Perfect. you over here. Perfect, okay. So um, back to what we're doing. I believe I've added the negation in. And we end up with a consonant cluster. What, what was that? <laughs> so that's probably not right. Let me let me just let me just let me just show you. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm missing some. I'm missing at least two. Oh, but Emily, just to clarify, I dropped out of all the other Zoom meetings, too. It wasn't just for the one I had with you and your group. <laughs> it's like I, I kept timing out of all of them. It's, uh, oh, we need the S, don't we? Here, let me try to arrange these in the order that they are in the chart. Okay, that's yeah. correct. And then we need a S. Right? As opposed to an uh, Okay. Okay, so then the S goes above this. Right? For mm -hmm. sure. I think. Yeah, for Based sure. Based on what I can Whoa. see on the screen. Okay, good. And then we'll have um, two negatives. So we need the first S negative and the the, that one negative. Our talk is saying that it, it does sound like a, a sound a possum would make, though. With that consonant cluster. And Emily, you know I can't play favorites. <laughs> okay, and then we need the sur form. And the afra form, and that's the negative, and then this one, and then we take that. Ugh. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, works. That's cool. Shiitake mushrooms. I got the poor internet thing again. <laughs> All right. Wish you well. Okay, for sure, whoa. And then, Wilkson? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. That seems backwards. Huh. Which part is seeming backwards? Well, it's just a, it's just interesting. Is is what it is. It is what it is. Because then this is going to come out as Wilkse, right? Yeah, Wilkse, and this one is coming out as the crazy thing. Which I'm just going to write it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so what we have what we have happening here is that we're losing a barred I. The barred I is vocalizing the R. The R is becoming a Y, and we're also losing a schwa at the beginning. So we're losing the two vowels and left with filcha. Filcha. Mm -hmm. Filcha. And, and of all things, that Y, I guess, should. This is a weird thing, but like if that were another sonorant, we would say that it was vocalizing and becoming the nucleus. So we either have, we have two options, and I want to present you with both options. One, the nucleus of this first syllable is L, and so the, it is fil mm -hmm. or that Y becomes syllabic and vocalizes, and it turns into fil Um, if we had an R and an L back to back, which one would we say would be the, like, is it, do we have any sort of rule that says which one becomes the sonorant consonant? I would say you go back to your old maximize the onset rule. Right? Okay. In which case the L would be. Yeah. Okay, let's do it that way then. And there it is. Perfect. Wonderful, delightful word. Now let's see the other ones. Yusur and wo. Yusur and wo. Good. And then. Filksur and filkho. Well, Beatrice, I can't name all the languages that have L, and I love your adverb use here of nuclearly, um, but English does. <laughs> yeah, um, and so does uh, Sanskrit, of course. One of the most famous uh, for having that. I also really like that we have wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally not pronounced that way, but there it is. Right now, the only thing that's troubling me is this Wilkse word. Why is that that way? Okay. Why is that that way? Wilkse. Sorry. Um, In terms of why did it get the... Is that the, the is that the only form that got the K? No. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I couldn't remember what the others were. I stayed up with the proto forms. I should really be down on the verb charts. Hate to ask this, but what's supposed to be getting the stress? Did did we decide that the um, did we decide that the negator was getting the stress? I can't remember. I don't think so. That was in a different one that we were Okay. Um, and I'm going to go back up and see if we have a note. Um, if I can find where we started making notes on the his forms. Um, <coughs> Did a good job. Thank you. Uh, we were putting. Where do we even have negation then auxiliary? So no, because. Because we were still, at least up in our notes up above, we're still getting the stress on, like, just where you would expect it to be. Okay. In terms of either the 
So, I mean, I guess technically the, the negator is getting stress when there's no consonant at the end of the word or remnant of a consonant at the end of the word. Yeah, that's true. So it, it's just a little wor weird that if that's getting the stress, why is... Oh, oh, oh! That's why. It is getting the stress. It is getting the stress. That's why the vowel is uh. Um, the uh is dropping out, and then the fr combining to form f. But I guess it didn't palatalize. Because it was stressed. So that must have... The uh must have gone up to uh before... The palatalization. Mm -hmm. Let me confirm that. Evan said, "If we're going by Ingala, then we only have seven episodes left." I don't know if we're gonna go by Ingala for this one because we're. Really, <laughs> I feel like we're in a different. Thing. Hmm. Yes, they do shift upward, or backward, I guess, before palatalization happens. Okay, there we go. So that's, this is the form, that, that, that is correct. We only have two more charts to go through. Yeah. Um, and they're the same word? Oh, yeah. oh, I see. Oh, why did we do that? Why didn't we do like the above ones? Um, I think it's because the other ones we had more, it was based on the protoform, something about how the protoforms we had multiple ways to get to the. No, I mean, these two tables should be combined into one. I don't know. Oh, I see. No, no, no. I see. Because they're two different things. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. No, I, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. <clears throat> but this this silliness is is definitely going to stop so that I'm not getting us confused. Stop, 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 stop. What, what silliness? We're merging these cells. It's a horrible confusion before. There we go. Okay, so I almost fixed the tables, David. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, protoform alpha for to smell, it looks like it's N caret S. No, N no. caret Z. It is a Z, but it's not a caret. It's the um, back unrounded, high back unrounded. Monkey trepids. Okay. Um, um, but you got the Z right. And you got the end, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How dare you. Now I've got Neil Young stuck in my head. It's a weird thing to have stuck in my head. Hmm. I mean, you really only have yourself to blame because you're the one who really brought it up. And well, you just keep... About. You won't let it go, so... This is on you. It's all on. All, always on me. Also, what? what's this? It, why is this Z black? Because that's from the proto form. <laughs> well, then the S should be red. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And actually, this should be S final, and then there should be another one where the S doesn't change. That's what we need. We don't have any verbs like that. I think that's why we don't have that. Not yet, but we will. Okay, Noozle. Oh, and the U should be black, because there's a U up there. Right? 
I, you know that I was the one who did those, right? So yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, Beatrice, Beatrice knows what's up. I know, I know Beatrice. I, uh, this, this is why I stay on other pages and just shout protoforms. Okay, so now we take this gentleman and jetzt wir das so erste you already Form got it wrong. Sagen. You started with jetzt, which means you need a verb. Ja. Jetzt. Yeah, but you then went to via, and that's not a verb, ah, so you need something jetzt, between jetzt and jetzt via. Jetzt geben wir das ersten Firmen. <laughs> Und wo ist da? Ist nicht. Ja, das ist der. Das ist richtig. Okay. There we go. Is it? Good. And then we have Nizzle. And Nizzle. Right? Nizilkse. Nizilkse. That's a good one. Oh, I like that word. Yeah. This so. And then yeah. 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 Roman, so help me. There is so much litter on this desk. You have shamed yourself and your species. Wait a minute. Ah. There we go. All right, my boy. Now, leap into my arms. Show everyone what a brave cat you are. This is so not going to work. Even if he leaps, I just have a feeling it's just going to be like in your face or something. Yeah. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Wow. Oh, there's my boy. Oh, yes, and there are your claws. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Now say hi. <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, my precious. My precious. That's a good boy. You <laughs> love this, don't you? you and now we have this. a cat. You love this. Oh, it's your favorite thing to be held like this. And give him little scratches like you're a little bit. No, kitty. his favorite thing is for you to turn him over and rub his stomach. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. You love <laughs> belly rubs, don't you, Roman? That's just your favorite thing. Oh, my. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you had to put a paw on the desk. You had to put a paw on the desk. Ah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He respects me, he respects me not. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that triple. N Ooh. It is a triple. Yeah. Oh. How on earth? How on earth? Well, that is okay because triple yes are going to get resolved to single yes. I think that was the form that I had started with whenever I was doing this because I, if you recall, I was like, I'm pretty sure something went wrong. I got three <laughs> CYs in a row. Oh, and what is with these accent marks? We don't need those because it ends in a consonant. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, there we go. That's that one. I may be frozen again. I'm going to take this to S final. Ugh, I get frozen at the worst time. Mm, we hardly knew ye. So this is probably N-I phi. <clears throat> I'm guessing. Get rid of that. Uh, yes. Carl, if you happen to be watching at this moment and are in the chat, yes, we are good. <clears throat> um, okay, so it's N-I-Fi? Um, 
No, in Epsilon Phi. Terrible. Got it. <laughs> this darn language. Okay. It's not quite like Ingala, where like you could almost guess the protoforms for most. I feel like this is... We did so many shifteroos in the sound changes. Yeah. I just, I don't think... Shifty dipsies, as we call them. All right. Yeesh. 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 Oof. Look at all those I initial forms. That's not something that we have had. That's... Oh, and, and this is the one where... Oh, look, there's three SYs. SY, 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 you are. <laughs> no, yeah, but, like, we're not... Um, we got this one, uh, Nipsi, but for these, we did not. We didn't get those. Mm -hmm. We got something different. We got these uh, prefixed forms. We didn't even get the F. Yeah, so, so this is one of them that we specifically had to talk about because it wasn't coming out in the way that it, yeah, I forget it, why we ended up going with this and I should have taken better notes. The, the accent marks are in the wrong place unless they've changed in Lexergy and the accent marks are placed correctly. I'm sorry, the, the stress... Uh, indicates that the next syllable is stressed. Hmm, what's going on here? Somebody's talking about... I don't know. Uh, hmm. They're talking about migraines? What's going on here? Wait. Megan has a migraine. Where's D2? Graham says the stress is in the right place now. Okay, oh, okay, so then, okay, so then. And I guess if, mm -hmm. hmm. Well, Bib and Megan both, I really hope your migraines go away quickly. Yeah. I'm not myself a sufferer, so I don't know what would help. Aside from maybe going into a nice, quiet, dark room, putting a pillow on your head, and then For falling some people, asleep, caffeine helps. and then waking up seven years later. Um, now, let's take a little peek ski at what's happened here. So the this vowel, the ne vowel, has reduced, and that's why we're getting the the um the vowel has uh it's palatalized and then it's reduced and that has made the following sound palatal um i was not aware that fa could go all the way to xia i didn't think that could happen um grandma's saying use the trace feature Trace evolution of a word. I'm just going to do this one. And I hope I'm doing this. And Biblerdine, that's fine, because you voted for W anyway. You didn't need to know what you were voting on. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Kind of good. Uh, this window needs to be a little bit bigger. Can I make this one smaller? Usually you can just drag windows, right? I don't think you can do that in this one. Um, here. I'm going to go like that, and then I'm going to go like that, but I didn't enough. It's still, I guess I can't resize the window. Uh, only shift final output, no arrows. Um, let's try that. Well, it doesn't work for the trace, though. Okay. 
so applied centrifugal annihilation, um, so applied weak regression. Is that right? Is that right? Hang on, hang on. Is which one right? Karis is saying Unstressed. copy and paste it into a pages or text file. Very first segment of the world. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good that's a good idea. Um, and Graham, that's a fair point to not to want people to destroy the layout. And let's give this a little boost ski. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in even more. Good. 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 Right here, it palatalized, and then it disappeared. Palatalization spreading. Now this this does not look right. I'm sorry to say, that does not look right. Um, but I'm not certain. When we apply palatalization, son the... of a biscuit eating bulldog, look at that. There it is, plain as day. My, 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 my. Rock and roll will never die. Mm. That mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So we have the forms wrong. We do. We do. The, f the forms are wrong. Um, so let's, let us, let us go and devour our crow. Neeps is right, but all the others are wrong. So this should not be Nifa, it should be Insha. Um, this is, wow. Also, which one came first, the Sex Pistols or that song, Hey, Hey, My, My? It's been driving me nuts for decades. Sex Pistols as a band? Yeah. Just... Okay. All right. They formed in 1975. Mm -hmm. And Hey, Hey, My, My, Into the Black. Uh, was released in 79. Okay. It was recorded in 78. Okay. There's, so there's no way he couldn't have known about Johnny Rotten, right? Because that was his name. Or his stage name, anyway. Um... That's how you say, let us devour crow and shenya. <laughs> and yeah, Mateus, you're right. That is quite the change. I think you're talking about us and not some other song. But yeah, we're, we're giving some very different forms over here. Inshusa. Okay, Inshusa and Insho. Can you have a Geminate after an N? My, no my, my, Can't my, we? my. I feel like we're going to have to. Oh, what no. on earth ski? Look at that. We have to. Otherwise, the forms will be identical. Hmm. 
I mean, it's, that's cool. I, can you say it both ways? No. <laughs> I mean, okay, so yes, they are distinguishable. Insha. Insha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're really not happy with that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Was that was that written all over? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Now, my question, I think... Oh, we do... Okay. Now, we do have Geminit in other forms. So, that makes sense, I guess. Um, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Fine it is. Uh, UP, University of Pittsburgh, um, Upper Peninsula. I'm going to guess Upper Peninsula. What are you guessing for UP? Oh, that's Upper Peninsula. Oh. Well, okay, whatever. What, where did you see UP? Where is that? Miles. Hi, everyone. Spending my road trip to the UP, watching Langtime. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, totally. Okay. And welcome, Miles. Mm. And and it was it was right. It was indeed Upper Peninsula. All right. Is that a Michigan thing? Uh huh. I'm a big Michigan person. No, but I just I know that it's the UP. <laughs> Check this out. Now this is probably where you were having a little bit of uh, a little bit of a what's going on. Because the form it spits out is I N Y S Y S Y S Y U R. That is exactly sure? the form. Yes. Uh, I believe it's preserved in a text message somewhere because I was like, "What?" And that's when I quit on the charts and said, "I'm just setting up the formatting." Yeah, this is a little bit of a. Oh, God. Damn, Morgan's a man. What do you mean? Is that how it goes? Yeah, that's how it goes. Did we ever, we didn't put in the, uh, and by we, I mean you, you didn't put in the negative form for the non-finite? No. But that's, that's an easy one to do. I'll put that in. I am, I am, uh, I am a mite troubled, though, by this, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah. I froze out a little bit, but I think I'm okay. It's good. Because here's the thing. These forms are absolutely, definitely identical. Unless we want our positive to have a gem in it, and then our negative to have an over-long, triple length consonant. It is just, we're going to have to get into this one, I think. Now, I will say that it's okay for one form, the positive and negative, to, to be kind of similar, right? Because, I mean, in spoken English, can and can't are often really just pronounced the same. Oh, I mean, you can go even further than that. I mean, like with the uh, and those otros forms of, like, entire verb paradigms in Spanish are identical in the present and the preterite. Um, so there's always that. But, uh... And then this... My, my, hold on. Okay, the imperfect is identical to the perfect um, in this paradigm. The positive and negative are distinguished by a singleton versus a geminate after a consonant. And then in this one, the perfect positive and negative uh, motion are identical unless we keep the over long. Cool. I did forget the final W. Thank you. 
Yes, that that's that's the difference. Okay, no, the, so the, the, those are fine. Perfects are fine. Mm, right. Yeah. So let's let's take a look at what happened to these perfects. Okay, <clears throat> start with a positive. Do the same thing. There's our, oh, did I get rid of it already? I guess I should keep that around. Graham says it sounds like it's a good time for suppletion. <laughs> Can't do that with everything, though. Like, because there will be other forms like that. Okay. Neph. Oh, Kex Krumo, if you're still here, hey, thanks for dropping in, and have a good night. And this is where the double comes in. Nichira. That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. So that one makes sense. Now let's see about the negative. <clears throat> Is this one? And as you're getting that pulled up, um, going up, uh, Beatrice asked if the N should be black in this chart when it is not in Y? Yeah, because I go by the form, um, not the phoneme. Okay, it's got the stress right. That looks right. Yeah, I guess that's right. Mm. Palatalization spreading makes the L turn into an L-Y, which makes the H turn into a H, which makes the S turn into a H. It's just a palatal push, a huge one. And then let's see what happens to yeetification because that might have that might have been a fridge too far. Or after a palatal. Minnie says when you've met defeat, supplete. <laughs> <laughs> um, I totally okay so Graham was going by the way this rule was written and by the way this rule was written that is accurate but no that's not good that's not that's, that's not how that should be because as this rule is written, it would suggest that a form that at one point in time looked like this. Here, let's. Should come out as this. And that darn well should not happen. Um, but yeah, Graham, you see, you see the, the issue here and here, in fact, let's make it even more obvious. Like there's no way that this should happen, right? If we had, you know, Chian, that it just becomes Chan. I'm not sure what I meant here. Like what I was thinking when I wrote that. I think it's only supposed to apply to the fully palatal consonants, not to 
how it's alized. No, okay, but that's why... And I think it was only supposed to be... I don't know why there's that second one there, quite frankly. I thought it was only supposed to be in front of the E. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, that, that was the original intent. So I don't know. This feels like something I added for some reason. Oh, it's because of the J. If there's a palatal consonant followed by the, the Y, the Y will be deleted. So it should only be like if we oh. had in the IPA C-J-A-N, it would just be C-A-N. Yes. Yes. But it's grabbing everything that's plus sonorate, plus palatal, minus nasal, which includes right. the palatal lateral. Darn it. That's a big whoopsie doodle. That's like a whoopsie doodle. Yeah. And granted, that is easy enough to fix, but I'm also now wondering what other words we need to go back and look at. It seems like the only thing that it would possibly be grabbing that we, you know, that covers that, it's only palatal L, right? We don't have anything else. That's sonorant and palatal. Plus sonorant, plus palatal, minus nasal, minus lateral. <laughs> <laughs> right, but like of the forms that have an L in it, how many of those verb charts are now wrong because edification needs to I, undo? I doubt very many. I doubt the very many. Overheating. And yeah, you're right. The only the only thing that that should affect is the L. Yeah. So I I don't I think we're fine. Um. Because here the L is staying. We're not losing it. So I think we're fine. I just thought there was a form that we seriously had just checked and it was... Hmm. I don't know. Okay. okay, so um, let's try to find that rule. It was um, applied unification. Okay, let's find it. Ah, it is very easily. Boink. There we go. <coughs> was, that a, was that a cough? Yes. Hmm. Was it not acceptable? Slightly acceptable, slightly, slightly. Mm. Here we go. Inchi <laughs> show? Oh dear. Oh, why? What messed up? Well, not messed up, but like, what crazy forms do we have now? Okay, you're gonna like those. Like, I just... Am I? No. <laughs> okay. okay. That's, that's, uh... In she show? In she shot? In she shot? Right. Perfect. Inchu, right? Incho. Inchu. I'm just asking about bunch here. Oh, Alk may be right. Okay, finish this table. Then I'm gonna point out what. Okay. Table is finished. Now, what's all what's all pointing out? The fact that the LH is in our negative, right? Yeah. Um, 
everywhere it's missing, it's been taken out. So like in the Bun paradigm, um, the Bun Shu, like there should be an L in there, right? Because it wouldn't be removed. It wouldn't be yeeted. It wouldn't be for Jotun. <laughs> oh dear. Let's take a look. I, because it's really the, with the ILH form, literally if L is not showing up in the negative, we need to double check it. Yeah. Okay, well then. And that would be the same for Lam needs to be redone. Okay, ignore that. Go back to the table I just did. Okay. All right, because it'll illustrate the issue. Gotcha. So, um, the imperfect negative, uh, we get to, it, 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 the Ilksa form does come out. Where the issue is, is with the negative, the action negative for the imperfect imperfect, and the motion negative of the perfect. So these are the forms that I came up with. And you'll see that we have essentially, this is the reflex of the phi. Then we have ulcir, you know, or ulcia or ulchof, right? So that's where it's showing up. And so you are correct. What's gonna happen with all of these forms? This is going to be, um, sorry. Uh, that is going to be a reflex of the final consonant, and then it's going to be followed by an L and then sh something. Okay. Why is Ubich or Ubich the, the go to example for minimal vowel system? It's not, it's Kabardian. Um, anyway, um, that's the minimal vowel system. Okay, so before we go and change other tables, let's take a look and see if we want to do something that's just going to target these negative forms. The reason that these are the issue, the reason that these are an issue, um, and that the motion imperfect negative is not is because that original barred I is still getting the stress. In the other three, the stress is pushed to the end of the word, which means that initial barred I is both causing palatalization and getting lost. And it's doing neither of those things in the motion imperfect negative. So what we know is that all of these forms, all three of those forms are going to be ending with like, you know, isha. It's like something like that. Knowing that, do we want to do something that's going to target those forms specifically? So it's like, you know, my goodness. That's it. And then, well, actually, the vowel final forms are five are fine. Vowel final forms are, are are an issue. It's only for the consonant final forms. So yeah, banilche, lanilche, rilche, Actually, maybe that one's okay too. Let's see what happens with that one. What was what was the proto form of exit? Again. Um, I believe that one was phi schwa r, but let me double check. Sounds right. Yes. I don't know what you're laughing at. I'm just saying IPA forms. There's nothing funny about that. Not at all. Alright. Matei says it sounds like possum laughter. <laughs> okay, uh, these these are fine. 
these are fine. All these forms are fine. Um, basically, any form where we still see an L is fine. Okay. So, I think let's do Bond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two because they're just confusing. An anime fan, we do, we do not have a set Copico time. It's really when we feel we're ready to celebrate an accomplishment, we have a Copico. And this one may be at, I don't know, 5.59. Yeah, really. <laughs> or 3.59 for anyone in the Pacific time zone. Okay. So these three forms, let me, um, I'm going to do this. Do something incredibly unorthodox. Okay. These are the three forms. They're always going to be something like that this whatever constant it is followed by a palatal y followed by a palatal uh fricative followed by the ending and yes in that second one it will be a geminate palatal mm -hmm. so what can we do to these cry I mean, you're totally doing it, so, you know, obviously that means it's fine, and these are little possums, and, you know. And, um, it's, it's beautiful. All right, everybody. Throw in an A if you think we should do something with these forms, and a B if you think that we should just accept them as they are. <laughs> I'm terrified either way. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for some votes. I think everybody's terrified. Nobody wants to vote. Thank you, Alk. I do have an idea. All right, we're one to one. Okay, five to two, A is winning. Oh, Mateus, <laughs> thank you. We're five to five. Oh my goodness. Seven to six, A. Okay, eight to six. What? No, A is do something, <laughs> B is do nothing. Bibliridian is still going with W. Okay, so uh, I wrote them okay. up here. All right, so we've got 10 to 6. A is winning. It's half the people voting so far. A lot of people abstaining. Okay, so Evan, I didn't count your A vote because it didn't come out the right way. So now I'm counting your B vote. And so now it's 10 to 7. More abstaining. <laughs> 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 when you have Graham, Bibb, and Raven abstaining, it's like, that's a vote. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
They're, that means no matter what. Means they're voting for they're voting for a new Conlang, a new Conlang, or a new just, pair of Conlangers. They're just voting they're against stop us. Stop it now. Okay, so if okay. we stop the vote there, it's ten to seven. A wins. This is my idea. I'm gonna keep that there. Change this to green. Didn't we? Oh, because the E is allowed after the Enye, but not after the the full palatal yeah. Yeah. I so mean, we can say ban yi, but we cannot say ba yi. Yes. That is correct. Okay. You no know, and we need to write that somewhere in well, terms of somewhere near the negation and the verbal things because it's not like a full sound change right this is really for these negation forms that get insane yeah this is a this is a specifically this is a morphological you know sound change where it just got it just got shortened up you know so just you know enough enough people saying you know ban just Shorten it up to Bani Yeah. I like that. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hey, and when we enter these forms and enter the negation note, I think we can finally have a Kofi go. Yeah, I think so too. Magpie, it terrifies me too. <laughs> I don't think we've typed any grammatical notes yet. No, we have not. That's cool. Oh, we've got a few notes. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I believe that's what that should be. Go. <laughs> What's up? Uh, no, no, no. I do want to double check to make sure that that is correct. With row. I believe that. The, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I understand why she was asking about that. But I believe that the form was just R-U-L for Rull. Or Rull. Oh, for the proto form? Yeah. Um, what, are you talking about for it to hang? Yes. Yeah, R our unrounded UL, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> they Where all... Where would we end up? They all took an empathetic eye for reasons that I cannot fathom. 
trace out the... <laughs> yeah, okay, but I was just checking to see, make sure those forms, but like, that is just weird. Why would it do that? Why would it do this? Graham, what happened? Just put an epithetic eye for no reason. Graham is saying it doesn't look right. What does the epithetic rule actually say? It's right here. Um, on, on Lexer, do you mean? Mm -hmm. So I guess nothing goes to I um, before a nasal or liquid and then a consonant. Oh, it didn't, um, it didn't D, uh, I know what happened. It didn't de-Romanize the U. Oh, and yeah, Graham just said because there's no U. Yeah. It, it didn't. Uh, it didn't de-Romanize that. Where's the de-Roman? Yeah, like it'd be an easy thing to do. Sorry, I thought that was already done. There we go. That should fix those. Boop. Perfect. All right. Good. These are now correct. So you know what that what means. Have... What, what does that mean? It means we can finally celebrate. Ooh. Did you order more? I did. Good. But I mean, you know, still have plenty for, for the next couple weeks. Cheers. But, you know, can't run out. Um, and I put a reminder note up in the verb section under negation where we have absolutely nothing else typed up. Okay, cool. Mm. Ah, Kopiko, flavor of the gods. Mm. 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 I have to be careful because I'm pretty sure I accidentally lost a filling on this side of my mouth. So Rec I gotta keep it on this side. Recently? Last night. What? And you're <laughs> yeah. sharing this news now? Well, I'm sorry, did you want to hear about it at the beginning of the stream? Yeah. That's kind of it a really big... only affects my Kopiko eating ability in the stream. That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? Uh, you know. I've never, like, had one of those, but I, you know, assume. You've never had a filling? Um, maybe when I had two brackets removed from my old headgear. But aside from that, no, I don't think I've had, like, a, you know, cavity. Wow. You're very lucky. Mm. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay. If it keeps hurting, then I'll get it checked out next week. It's fine. Is that, a, is that like a fine thing, though? You can just kind of let them go and be like, oh, thank you for your service filling, and that's it. Well, I can't let it go forever unless I want to lose the tooth, but, like, you, it's not like you have to go get it fixed that day or you're going to lose your tooth. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Because when they do the filling, they drill out the cavity part and they just refill the hole. So, essentially, there's just a hole in your tooth that you need to get refilled so that way you don't, you know, get more cavity. Huh. Is cavity supposed to work for hole? How do you right how do you like drill out a hole because really what a cavity is is a soft spot on your tooth and so they drill out the soft part yeah 
Hmm. Very interesting. A, a, a glimpse into another world. <laughs> like, I'm trying not to, like, hate you a tiny bit. You've never <laughs> had to get fillings, but, you know, good for you. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you know the the big thing that happened to me, the, the, the pool incident that caused right. me to, you know, kill one of my two front teeth. I mean, that was... Okay. 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 So, 10 minutes left. We have these verb charts. All our verb forms are done. Mm -hmm. So, I think all that's left is we really need to uh, add these verb forms to the dictionary. So that we need to write about them. We need to write about In them. The grammar. And I need to write up the romanization now that we're somewhat settled on that um and and look at all these in, like right now in this in this last 10 minutes we need to figure out what our patrons are going to be voting on yeah i know um beatrice there's actually an entire article on fiat lingua about colleges that teach online courses mm -hmm. who wrote that article there's no one you ever heard of <laughs> Well, whoever wrote it, I bet, I bet they don't have a single cavity. <laughs> no, they don't, because their cavities have been drilled out and filled, and one of those fillings is now just decided it's done. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, is Minnie leaving? Did I miss that? Oh, you have cabin things to do. Oh. Well, glad you made it this long, Minnie. And have a great week. Oh, and happy Easter. Right, right. Okay. Shoot. Okay, so yeah, what are we going to do with these last nine minutes? We need to pull, um, and then we have stuff we have to do, but like, but like, what stuff? Oh my god, there, well, there's so much stuff that it's like you just don't want to think about it. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't know that we've entered that into our verb, but I just found another verb we need to think about. Anyway, um, we need, well, first and foremost, we need to do the poll because we got to figure out what they're going to be voting on. And we have discovered that we cannot leave it to you to think about what they will vote on afterwards in terms of options or we will end up with a romanization system that breaks down. Mm. So, <laughs> we need to do that now. Yeah. Um, then we do need to enter all the verbs into the dictionary, both sides. We need to write up all the grammatical information, not just about the verbs, but we skipped a whole lot of noun information. We've really only written about adjectives. Yeah in the or in the grammar section so like all of that needs to be written up when we do all that write up that's when we will be able to clean up the pdf and get rid of the what we now i think is like 17 pages of notes before we even get to the document so that's where we're headed i feel like so a lot of cleanup plus we still have orthography of course with the font yeah I feel like monkey dude luffy right now because I'm about to suggest something that seems totally irrelevant. Like, we should enter a verb. <laughs> Figure out what the principal parts are going to be. It's like, that's not the most important thing, but i going to do it anyway. Um, but because I think I know. I think I know. I think that all we need to do is enter the non-finite, positive, and negative and then the imperfect action positive. I'm gonna be honest. Uh -huh. This inflectional system is so woe to me that like... I, I really think... I might have a hard time predicting what, what will happen to most of the forms. With the exception of, like, if it's just a stressed O in the imperfect, in the perfect, it'll be OW. Like, 
adding an R for the perfect, like some of those I can get, but a lot of them are like so much red that it's kind of insane. But seriously though, with those four forms, I think you can predict the rest. Okay. That'll take some thinking. Um, Alk is suggesting having a poll for the copula because we have not talked about the copula. Yeah, a simple poll would be whether to have one or not. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. But that's a big poll because that's a huge decision and it's necessary for verbs. Darn skippy. You're right. Okay, so let's do options. No copula. Um, and then yes copula. Um, but only in the perfect. No, but this does. No, 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 forget that's no, that doesn't make sense for our system. Okay. So no copula, yes copula, and then locative versus equative copula. What do we think about those three options? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, that. Okay, good. Um. Oh, once we decide if we have a copula, then we can decide what other things we're going to do with that. Yes. Um, hold on a sec. I just have to, I just have to see what the heck happened to that form. Okay. Which form are you checking? Oh. Um, this one that ended up as if sir. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. Because while I said um, all the forms are predictable and they kind of are, this one is this one is a is a tough one. You sir, that one's if sir. That was a tough one to predict. Um, maybe you just list that one specially. Because you really can, you really can get the rest fairly easily if you just have those those four forms. Bye, Graham. Bye, Graham. Okay. Well, let's at least so I remember it. I'm gonna enter these ga to bite. That is the best first verb to add. Okay. I'll do my only job. Put it on the English side. You got it. Okay. Here we go. And I'm pretty sure that the uh, proto form of these guys just these guys. Is that right? In one moment, I will tell you. It's Ezga. Thank you. Very important. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. So Isga. Uh huh. Isgul, I believe. You're doing the negative form now? Yes. Non finite? Yeah. Are you looking yes. for me? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, it's April 1st. <clears throat> um, uh, the 
Patreon stuff. Oh, we need to add that. Um, also, yeah, live stream just dropped today. Or not live stream. Sorry, wrong word. A podcast. So if you didn't have a chance to check it out yet um, and you're a patron, we have a new podcast that is up today. Um, also, for those who uh, are interested, I'm doing, I'm doing a talk in a couple weeks with Speakeasy. It's a virtual talk. And it does cost money, but I'm going to be basically just doing a full po post-mortem on my work on Game of Thrones. So, any question that you've ever wanted to ask about that will be answered there. Including what I thought of Season 8. Okay. So I think that's the order that those should be in. Give me another verb. One of the one of the one of the consonant endy ones. Um, do you have a preference for what kind of consonant ends it? Just not the one with you, sir. Okay. Well, then let's just do bon. Okay. Good one. What is bon? Which is to jump. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, we got two words in I and B now. Okay. So the um, mm, mm, go, go. and the protoform is is what you would expect at this time. Yes. All right. Jump. And so the um, the uh, form is ban banul. Is that right? Yes, with one a. Yes, with one a. Um, and then bants. Is that right? Sounds right. I'm going to check that I'm hearing you correctly. B A N T S U? Yes. And then the other form is bano. Bana? Is that right? Uh, bana with the stress on the. Yeah. Got it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Because there's a shortened vowel on that. There we go. Cool. All right, we entered a couple verbs. Yes, we did. I put it on the English side, so I got that part. Perfect. Or is it imperfect? Because those are the forms we entered. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. All right, so that'll do it for today. Um, we did make progress. Like, we did. Yeah. There were some uncomfortable choices that we had to make, but you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yes, we should. Alka's saying to check look with the unification. Check what? L U O K. Uh, all right. Is that a noun? Mm, that's in our passive. Oh, it's a verb. Right, the passive. Okay. Uh, that shoot. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do that really quick. Was it um, it's a protoform L U K? I will let you know in a second. I'm trying to remember where that came from and where we put that in the notes. It comes from suffer. Or is it G? Where did we put it? Or is it barred I? This is all good, good questions. Oh, you know what? I think it was L U G. L U G. Because okay. I remember, or no, carrot. I, wasn't it lug? Oh boy. I can't believe that we don't have that proto form written down anywhere. It was on the roots to use, and I swear it was L. You're right. Carrot You're right. G. It, it is. Write that down somewhere. 
Um, I just saw it below. I'm adding it to the verb list so that way it's preserved. Okay. Okay. Non finite is still okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is that still okay? Looks. Uh, oh wait, the, this only takes. Okay, I got it. There you go. Oh, India. Yeah, so that's that's what they should be. Ilisha and Ilisha. Well, well, thank you for that suggestion. We definitely needed to reach out those. Yeah, right at the 11th hour. Perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> now for real. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. We'll see you next week. Stay grammar. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Oh, wait, that wasn't the thing. This is the thing.